Let's talk about the GoPro Hero 11 Black and the Insta360 Go 3. Two action cameras. One, we have the original, some might say the king of action cameras within the GoPro. And new to the scene is the Insta360 Go 3. And I say new to the scene, obviously they've had a Go 1 and a Go 2, but in this iteration, they now have a full bodied action pod and a removable tiny little camera in which you can film from. They'll link together, you can take the little camera out and you can go video something and view it from the action pod. And then you put it back together, it gives you more charge and it's in a little form factor in which is almost identical to the GoPro. So the pros and cons between the original king of action cameras and the very new and innovative Insta360 Go 3, interchangeable batteries and expandable memory on the GoPro. You can get as many batteries as you can afford, you can put them in, you can exchange them, you can swap them in, swap them out. You can even get a little cover in which you can insert a charging cable and continuously use it as long as it doesn't overheat. And you can put a really big memory card in there. That's fantastic. You're gonna get higher resolution, you're gonna get higher frame rates in the GoPro. But it's a bigger form factor when you compare it to the tiny little thumb-sized camera of the Go 3. Go 3, you will select your internal memory upon purchase, and it's not expandable at that point, and the battery is locked in. So with the little thumb camera, you're gonna get about 45 minutes advertised by Insta360, and then you insert it into the action pod, and you're gonna get about 170 minutes. So very different. You gotta be a lot more conscious and cautious of how and when you're using the Go 3, but the scenarios in which you can get the little camera are endless. Really your imagination is, is completely the limit of what you can do with that little camera and where you can put it. The resolutions aren't gonna be as good as the GoPro, but you've got such a small camera. Again, possibilities are endless. GoPro, you have to buy your accessories separate. Your batteries, your different mounting systems. Of course, you've got your two little feet at the bottom, which have a little thumb screw in there. And that's the traditional way of using action cameras. A lot of these different cameras over the years have implemented the two feet screw, thumb screw system. You can actually do that with the Insta360, but the Insta360 has magnetic mounts. So little clips in which come in and attach to the bottom of the camera, or you put your little thumbstick on top, that's it. Magnetic with little latches. Great. I was saying with the GoPro, you're gonna buy your accessories separate. I have the snap mount system here, which is fantastic. I really enjoyed this one, but you can see it's a great big deal heavier and bulkier than the Go 3. The Go 3, a lot of different options in there, but the standard package that I got, you got a mount with a thread on the bottom. You have a sticky puck that goes in the bottom. You have a chest plate, a little medallion that goes behind your shirt, and you get a hat mount. Different accessories you get within that one package, the GoPro, you get a few little mounts, but that's it. You typically got to buy more. Positives here, GoPro, the ecosystem is vast. You can get packages relatively cheap. Keep an eye on Amazon and you get 50, 100, so many different accessories in one package for a very low cost. It's been around for so long that there's so many options out there. So keep an eye on that. Into 360, obviously not as much. So you can get different mounting systems, uh, selfie sticks that say, that they sell. You can get a mount that attaches to the feet of a GoPro. So essentially turning any GoPro mount for the Go 3 into an Insta 360 mount. Great that they include the accessories, but the um, secondary market is less vast on that side. As with all things, it depends on how you intend on using it. If you want a traditional action camera that has the best and biggest quality and, and basically the best you can get, you're gonna look at the GoPro. If you want a little bit of difference, a little bit of innovation, a little camera that you can utilize in many different scenarios and get a little bit more for your money with the attachment systems and whatnot that it comes with, then the Insta360 Go 3 is a very valid option. Insta360 are newer in that world, but they've got a really good product in their hands. So you've got GoPro Hero 11, there's been 11 of them, plus many others are the Insta360 Go 3, third iteration, third generation of that type of camera, both very valid options, and you're gonna get a lot of value for your money, whichever one you choose to go with. So that's my thoughts between the GoPro Hero 11 and the Insta360 Go 3. Thank you.